Hello, and welcome back to the Oh My God, I Can't Believe the Internet as We Know It is Doomed Games. Oh, right, uh, Hype got stuck in some spam mail, so he won't be joining us for this part. But, well, I'm sure he'll be back. Logan, how's the search going? Cam, I, I checked through the last three email folders, but every one of them keeps telling me about my expired card mortgage. Although the fifth line of this one says, help me, this is not a joke, I've been kidnapped. <laughs> But for and some reason, there breath. was a load of emoticons on the uh, on the address, so uh, I didn't take it into consideration. Never trust a wingding. <laughs> Never. So yeah, unfortunately, like it or not, the the, the games continue, and now uh, Logan and I are taking are pretty much having an all girls night with Helga and Natalie. This girls and this are, this arena is going to be making uh, good qu good quick use of all your offensive capabilities, especially the speed hoop. To deal with uh, the the increasing slippery slopes of the hills. Oh, also, Pink please? Monkey decided to Ooh, come by she's and happy. give us some treats. So she gives us all sorts of healing abilities now. Yeah. Can they also heal the uh, uh, enemies too? I think it, it, technically it is considered a, an up like an item you can grab. So I think they still can grab it. Yes. Thankfully, they're too stupid to do so. Okay. Good. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is, uh, in, in three, do they pick back up her whole dreams of wanting to become a pop star? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> At the same time. For her boss fight, they make a, they made a brand new song called "Banana Heartbreak." Oh no, that's that's the V. And it's scene. really fucking weird to hear. It's what? very it's very creepy, actually. Really? Well, no, I just say it's weird to hear because uh, her particular voice actress in that game. <laughs> well, it, for, I don't think it's the same. The scene was the same, but the I think it is. Her is a uh, is a uh, Debbie Derryberry, aka Coco Bandicoot and Jimmy Neutron. And, oh. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Junior? Uh, no, no, Nurgle Junior from uh, Billy yes, Mandy. I, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but, but but wait, so she does sing the song? I don't know if she does or not. It, it might. She might. Fun monkey. And she sounds no different from when she's voicing cartoon characters. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, as far as that's as far as the cast of um, HK3 is concerned, is like as much as I kind of I'm kind of sad that they didn't put too much effort into some of the text in terms of translating them or, or, or just localizing it in general. Mm -hmm. They got a pretty star-studded cast for the sake of uh, Ape Escape 3. Like, they got... Well, okay, star-studded in a, in a loose sense, because, again, they got Debbie to voice Pink, Monkey Pink. Uh, Blue Monkey is voiced by Monk Michael Goh, a.k.a. Nasty Nork! And yeah, Monkey Yellow is voiced by Steve Bloom. Yeah. Yes, it probably his, probably the fruitiest I've ever seen the guy the, act. I've never heard his range ever go to that point before. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, ex unless you're playing as K, in, in which case it's fucking disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> That's also fair. Otherwise... Uh... But it's really funny, his interactions with uh, Yumi. Right. Which is why I'm probably going to pick Yumi for the, when I do Apes Gate 3, because first off, I think she has more of a stake in the plot, and secondly... Mm -hmm. uh, well, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 Plus K is the, just generic book. anime boy -o. Yes, very yeah. much. Yeah. So there's more character, there's more, there's more interest. Also, here we go, another auto scroll, which is why I'm going like, to close my Like, K for all intents and purposes, and Apescape 3 is just another Spike and Jimmy, but with half of the, with half of the, uh, charm. personality. He, he, he was there, he was there, he was there to fill, a, to fill a quota. Uh, so the other thing, so the other thing I was bringing up, or thinking of, was that, uh, the, uh, the, the, the only other big thing that I'm kind of bummed about with Apescape 3, when we get up to it, and again, this will always, of course, be reiterated later, is the fact that uh, we're never going to get monkey names as humorously localized as Ape Escape 2 ever again. Ape Walker. The, they, the, the, the rules were very loose for Ape Escape 1, for Ape Escape 2, and it definitely shows when you get to Ape Escape 3. Though, not to say that Ape Escape 3 doesn't have its have its fun in the sun, because the whole the whole theme of that game is is pretty Maybe. much uh, making movies. Exactly. Oh yeah, no. So, so the personality is there in the designs. It, like the names was always funny to like see. Like, oh hey, but but I mean, like for instance, the, like again, the fact that stage one has you, the, the the ability that you could just kidnap the groom and say he's mine and just run away, <laughs> leaving the bride there because you right because it's, it's it's basically what are your what are your typical uh, uh, B grade soap operas. Soap operas. <laughs> and oh, that's right, uh, that's right. And the fact that like as part of the stage, you can watch the scenes play out to summon the monkeys. That, that I, I think, think we scary. can go into more detail when we get to there. Like again, the, 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 the cheeky, the cheeky antics are still there. It's just that in terms of the written, for, as far as the written stuff is concerned, it's not quite to the same standard that two did. Mm. Two was pretty bad. The, the fact that the professor gambled at a time like that. What he an was idiot. literally doing. Da he was literally doing day trading. Also, hold on. There we go. Oh, you no, know, never mind. That's a monkey fable. No, that, like, yeah, no, he was kibbling down at the uh, freaking uh, casino area. Freaking <laughs> wonder if he monkey. was doing. Wonder if he was doing the exact same exploit that I was doing. 
things that... Oh, that's right. No, no. A few things are going to ever, like, be ingrained into my mind as much as freaking butch-ass, like, break-your-neck, Red Riding Hood taking none of the little <laughs> shit and just saying, run. <laughs> just... He listened. Uh, anywho. And also, and also, also huh? it's with that whole the whole thing where I learned that I can actually do a Kermit voice worth a damn. Yeah. What's up, Vicky? So if I can ask, is there any point to the enemy uh, kill tutorial? Uh, no, 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 not tutorials. Uh, it's, the, it is, it's just the fan. It's just the monkey fan club. Like, it's just a bonus, like, uh, score you want to try and hit if you want to increase your 100% completion. Otherwise... So defeating a certain number of enemies to reach the highest amount of uh, items or, yeah. like, rewards... Pretty much. So, mm -hmm. like, so there is some. It's otherwise, you're otherwise, yeah. Since especially since we have the 100% save file, there, there really is no like uh, pressure. The only other pressure. Okay, sorry, I realized I'm about to have a freaking oxymoron. Sorry, there is no pressure to kill these guys. Besides, if you just want to make the platforming a bit easier with less uh, interference from the enemies' projectiles everywhere. Uh, as oh. a side note, uh, I was just, like, mentally mind-fucked for a sec. What so, did you do? My mom's watching, uh, like, some Queen Elizabeth show in the, in the other room. Uh -huh. And the backing music was, like, an orchestral... It was, like, orchestral back music. But for some reason, I thought it was, like, the fucking Ghostly Galaxy theme. In, a uh, Mario... Mario Galaxy 1. Uh-huh. You know, doo-doo, doo-doo, doo Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, oh, wait, are we... T is, did they find another creepy thing? What? The, the, the music you were talking about. No, 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 I thought that the, sh the music coming from her show, because her TV is literally, like, facing oh, my wall. I sorry. thought it was, like, the same theme. No, no, sorry. The theme that I was hearing from you, I thought it was the freaking, uh, the Mario... The Super Mario Brothers creepy music, uh, the, the... From 3D Land, I think, the... No, that's just a remix of Ghostly Galaxy. Okay, fair, fair. I was you just thinking, you, you got me thinking of Hell Trees again, dude. Hell Valley Sky Tree? Yeah. <laughs> Sky Hell Trees. They're creepy. So, in any case, regardless, it's just another. I believe, though, we are getting, like, again, this is, the, this is the penultimate cup. So, after we blast through this, the whole thing will be squared away soon, James. And then we'll be on to the final cup. Also, as you know, saying at this point, since we're no longer competing with each other, our uh, enemy types are uh, the the enemy kills are adding. That we, we get this, we share them. We share. We uh, yeah, we do. Yeah. So, 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 actually, let me ask. The, we'll, we'll we'll both get the uh, benefits from the Monkey Fan Club. If I can ask, um, um, uh -oh. how big is the variety in the enemies? Uh, might I might ask. Not because it seems to be like a bunch of like the salamanders, those weird like. Pop in and out ghost mouth things. I was about to say you, you've seen them all. The like, bees, yeah. the, the urchins. It's just a lot of flying guys. There's the, 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 there's the bomb guys there. Are those bombs? The ones that are the ones that like quickly appear on the ground and start walking towards you, going red. Yeah. That's what I figured. Well, do they <gasps> explode? Oh no! <gasps> She's upset. Yeah, no. Like again, fucking pink, monkey pink is just. A lo a, she's a loose cannon, pretty much. Not like sometimes, like she's a coin toss. Sometimes she's angry. Other times she's super happy and let, helps you out. Yeah. Though sometimes that's... every so the other players can accept that help as well. The wild. And sometimes she get angry. Oh, and the other, I guess the other thing I don't think we ever fully explained, but the HUD up until this now. So sorry. Uh, the numbers that are to the right of our uh, health bars. This guy. This game kind of has a Marvel versus Capcom thing where you can actually, thankfully, store. Uh, a, a number of charges of your charge meter in a row. So, currently have three charges of super. Yep, and I am failing this part. There we go. Okay, now jump off it. Now do this part. Okay. I thought oh. there were, like, extra health stocks, to be honest. Nah. I don't believe so. You only get Just one make it, like, a little bit more gen. convenient for, like, the single-player stuff. Nah, nah. The only thing they do there is they give you health regen and um, a very, a very forgiving, generous amount of a health to work with. But, also, if, for those wondering why I have been talking too much throughout this past part, I just had a brief scare for a moment. What happened? Oh, uh, I'll ask you later. I almost got. Work. Let's just say that you ever come across those times where you go and go into your email and suddenly you find what looks like a looks like uh, you can't tell if it's a phishing scheme or not. 
Oh, oh dear. No. And they're trying to claim, like, oh my goodness, there's a bad thing. And you there, have to click something the happened right to your away. account. Log in now. And it's like. <laughs> Do not you... click the link, first off. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. No, obviously, never click the link. Just open up the email, just see, like, check the address. And if it's, a, it's something that's fault, it's something that clearly looks fishy, get rid of that sucker. He's and been trying to contact you about your local Stop! car insurance. <laughs> extended, car, extended car warranty, but no. And, 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 again, <laughs> and, again, e and again, even if you can't fully verify the email address, just if someone's saying that there's oh geez, the gold, the gold ones are here, which is like this is where they just put their their AI on hard. So well, if they, and and if they don't address you, if they don't address you by name, then that's definitely already a bad sign. Right. And worst, and again, worst case scenario, if they uh, oh, the about they fall. also got like chain chops. Is that they, uh, actually shit? Yeah, they do look like chain chops. Like well, they bounce and like, jump and uh, try and bite yeah. you. So. But yeah, yeah. Otherwise, just again, worst case scenario, if you cannot tell for sure if the email is legit, don't click on the link ever. Just go to your account page in a different tab directly without having to go through the email to verify it. Because right, odds are even odds are they're trying to they're 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 definitely trying to get you to click the link to make something bad happen. And who this has been? And you know security what? tips with the it's, <laughs> I was about to say it's actually oddly appropriate considering what we're playing right now. Right, it's like hey, this has been cybersecurity tip. What the what the monkey? So are we ascending on this platform, oh, or is the, or are we just falling constantly? The, the, they, they, the, the game, to its credit, has been doing a decent job of like making sure you spawn safely. And worst case scenario, as you've been seeing, they do the Smash Brothers thing where they'll spawn you on a temporary platform just to buy yourself some time to uh, jump and skyfly to a safer location. Anyway, and yeah, and, and yeah, down. I just check, I just check and check the account of the non non mentionables, and yeah, everything's more or less fine. Woo! Okay, with that we got Jeez. one more. Course that's like left. the worst. That's like the last thing I want on my fucking conscious while doing these recordings. I know. <laughs> I, I I hear you. Definitely have been there once. So okay. <laughs> oh God, we're underwater again. Now it's yes. time to blow off some steam while underwater. Open your brief again. Ocean time. Actually, that's another thing worth meant. Oh, okay. I don't know if we've already brought this up before, like, when we were doing these, uh, water mix stuff beforehand, but it's also, again, a blessing to disguise it somewhat that we're still in a virtual world and Mystery Man decided not to cut off our oxygen supply. I mean, granted, you're in the virtual world. Do you really need ox oxygen to begin with? Don't let him know that. <laughs> I heard that. Then again, like, he was able to corrupt Jake, so... I guess all bets are off. And it doesn't stop there, unfortunately. Is it now, are the enemy... No, no, no. Are the uh, AI opponents, like, randomized in difficulty? Or are they always, like, silver in this stage, or gold in the previous one? Their difficulty is set, but I think the character that they're using is randomized. Right, ah. and, again, they, and again, the difficulty, as far as I'm aware, the difficulty is set, or at least conveyed to you via the rarity of the metal that they're, that they're uh, covered by. So silver is medium, bronze is lower, and gold is as hard as it can be. Is there anything harder than gold? Uh, nope. nope that's all there is. I Just mean, granted, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there would, they considered maybe like a platinum difficulty. Or like but, a diamond um, ranking? Or not uh, yeah, that. like a diamond. <laughs> Though, I mean, hey, you know what? Say if this game ever gets a freaking sequel somewhere in the history of never. <laughs> Nano grid. Anyway, we are coming up to the final portion of the game, the nano grid. What's a okay. nano? Well, before we do the nano grid now, James, we got to prepare for the last big uh, interference we're going to be encountering. Because unfortunately, Jake was not the only one that was affected by this uh, thing. Oh no! It's that guy. It's Spooky Man. Witness, you fools. An impenetrable sky fortress built by its the power of a genius from the universe. universe. I'm so glad you were picking up what I was putting down. <laughs> so it's Dark Spectre. Oh no, he's made of magma. He, I was gonna say Molten Spectre. And he's got bananas. No. How are we ever to stop him now? So we're in this is in the Mystery Man slash Spectre's grand scheme of things. Did they anticipate giving, like, replacing his legs with a full-on battleship? Mm -hmm. oh. Granted, it feels very Makai Kingdom-esque, considering uh, Chris Freeman. <laughs> right. Like, he had vehicles in that Goliath. game, he also had uh, battleships. Mm -hmm. So, I'll yeah. take I'll take your word on that. Um, I'm, I... I wonder if... I, mm, I was about to ask if the, that Volume 2 of uh, Pretty Presents is out yet, because I know... The Kai Kingdom is part of that package. I can't wait for it to release. 
Give it time. It'll be there. Anyway, the the staying true to form, the fight with Spectre is all, is much different yet again because now we're literally on the battleship that the Goliath is is attached to. But again, as you've seen here, just 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 go just go bananas on him. Just 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 massively just annihilate because you don't have to because at least compared to the second battle, you don't have to worry about constantly moving anymore. You can just you just have to. Avoid getting okay. At this part, you do have to keep moving because he's gonna try and speed to push you guys off of the ship. But otherwise, yay, turn. But he's essentially oh, pushing this you part. towards him. And then this part here, fair enough. But otherwise, apart from controlling the stage, the monkey cannon. Also, if I could just say, oh good. Uh, this boss fight reminds me a lot more of Power Stone compared to um, uh, what's it called? Like the traditional Goliath battle. Right. Right. Like, no, this does honestly, so. honestly God, feel like a battle arena you would find in uh, Power Stone. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, there was, like, one battlefield in Power Stone, too, that was just on top of, like, iceberg battleships. Yeah, yes. I, rem I, I vaguely remember that. And, nice. Um, I have, you know, truth be told, I do hope that, that game gets a proper sequel someday, given Capcom's recent, uh, recent uh, thing of reviving for Long Forgotten 90s. Please. Wasn't like there, like, a, a rumor yourself. floating around, like, this recent E3 wherein they thought they were going to announce, like, a I'm on collection? fire! Help! Oh, no! Into the coke stream I go! Sorry, Spectre. We know you're the main, protect main antagonist of the series, but we'll make sure that you're all well and good after this all said and done. I mean, he's not... He can't be the biggest bad if he's already corrupted by the bad guy. In this game. Mm -hmm. Then what does that make Bowser in the Mario series? Like, uh, that dude gets hijacked every other Tuesday. Hmm. Alright. And with that... <laughs> I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what the point of that was. But it's okay. okay. Regardless, we're gonna... I'm gonna... I found Hype. Gonna download the attachment. He's been included. I'm... I, <laughs> Let's re-download Hype into the chat. It's stupid. And played out, as Hype would say, which is why I'm downloading him right now. He'll be here for the finale, everybody. Here we go. Yep, and uh, for those wondering, uh, Matt will not be joining us for the, well, the finale of this whole thing. But uh, we'll see if we can pull him out for maybe some extra shenanigans later. But for now, we'll see you all later for the finale of the uh, Pumped in Prime story mode. Bye.